She's enjoying a beautiful, bright, sunny, maybe a little bit windy day from home in East Earl, Pennsylvania today. Penn State field hockey freshman goalie Lauren Delgado is with us. Lauren, really appreciate the time. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I appreciate you asking. What's life been like at home? The semester is over. I know you have a baby lamb that you're taking care of. So explain home life to our audience. It's nice being around my family. Um, you know, taking care of, of course, the baby lamb. You know, keeps you busy. Of course, living on a farm, there's always things to do around here. We just got some planting in the garden. So, did you always grow up on the farm? Were you always involved in those types of things growing up? Yeah, um, I definitely was. So, so my grandparents, like my grandma on my mom's side, definitely had a lot of that influence. And I became an animal lover out of it. That you know, just. I fell in love with just being around animals and just, of course, spending time outside and just doing something. So going out over here, we have our farm and, like, the barn and everything, and it stores, like, our tractors and stuff for the garden on the other side. But also I use it to go in and just put on my kickers and play around on concrete so that I have more of a fast-paced game. Over here we have where we store our wood and stuff and the animal food. Uh, and then... My little buddy is over here. His, he's a lamb, and he's adorable. But he's <laughs> How old is he? He's only like two months old. He's pretty good. He follows me around the yard, so like I can keep him. I call him like my little dog. Everyone on the team jokes around, and they're like, "Oh, you have a lamb dog." The funny thing is, so before Buddy was born, I had a lamb. And I just named her Lampers, and I did bottle feed her as well. And it was funny because my parents, when we had our game at the Nook, they brought her up to the Nook because that's not that far from my house. And so, of course, everyone on the team rem remembers me having a lamb at the game afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I don't like, for me, I would say it's just not having a dog. It's like a dog for me. And it's like a different connection that you have. Like you're the, technically like the mother to it. And so just being able to have a little pet and also especially during quarantine, it's kind of nice to have a little buddy. When did you first start playing? I started in, when I was in elementary school, my sister played in high school. So that's really where it started from. I was like, okay, I started doing like the high school like camps when I was in elementary school. But for me, I don't think it really like clicked until I was in eighth grade and mm -hmm. I fully started playing. But I was a field player for most of my life and then I switched into playing a goalkeeper my sophomore year of high school. So yeah. That's a that's a pretty quick transition to go from field player to goalkeeper and then three years later you find yourself on one of the premier division one rosters in the entire United States. How do you describe that journey and that experience? It definitely was a different journey. I did not expect it at first, and I knew I wanted to play field hockey in college. There's no doubt about it. And like, I have my club coach to thank from my old club because she was the one that really pushed me into being a goalkeeper. She was like, I see it in you that you can be really good. And so I just kind of was like, okay, worked my butt off to get to where I wanted to be. And I knew I wanted to play Division One. And when Penn State happened, I was just like, okay, like this is really happening. It was just a big whirlwind the whole time. You mentioned the Nook and your high school garden spot, high schools down between Reading and Lancaster, so you're not all that far away. What was it like growing up and playing in that area where field hockey is so big and of course you have the national team nearby? It definitely made me fall in love with the sport because of going to those games every so often whenever they were. Like I would always be like, oh, I'm definitely going to this game. And it was just nice to be around those players that were representing your country and for me especially getting close with many of the like goalies on the team and training with some of them and getting like their input and tips from them it made me fall in love with the game even more that I wanted to play in college. What's next on the to-do list today there at home? Nothing much probably did my workout this morning so I have the rest of the day pretty much open. Um, we have a vast wooded area behind our house that we have trails and stuff, so probably either a walk up in the woods or we have four wheelers, so we take those up in the woods on the trail. So probably something along those lines. You know, of course, having a little active brother, <laughs> he always has, he always wants to be doing something. Is he watching the interview right now? 
What, what do you think of your sister's field hockey career? Um, I like it. It's just the travel. I don't like it. <laughs> do you miss her when she's away at Penn State? Yeah. Because there's no one on the play with. Because my sister always works, so then I'm like left alone. <laughs> and how is she at taking care of the lamb? Uh, pretty good. <laughs> I help sometimes, though. That's really cool. Well, it's, it's really fun that we get to do this and interact not only with you, but your entire family and, and see what you have going on at home. Lauren, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem.